Hello and welcome to the Keystone Community Training Session. Keystone Community is a web application that facilitates the transmission of DICOM studies to a specific specialist or consultant. DICOM images are known as Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine. DICOM is used worldwide to store, exchange, and transmit medical images, enabling the integration of medical imaging devices from multiple manufacturers. Patient data and related images are exchanged and stored in standardized format known as DICOM. Keystone Community is not intended to be a primary image viewer, but a portal for data transfers to your desired consultant. Let's get started. The first thing you will need is a unique URL provided to you by your desired community specialist. The URL can be provided in multiple formats. What I have here is a template that Asteris provides to the consultant. To get started, click on the URL and you'll be directed to the Keystone Community Web Portal. You will need to create an account to send images. Click the register account and enter in as much information as you can. The red asterisk items are required to create a community account. Once you create an account, you can log in and start sending images to your desired specialist. Once you're in the community portal, first thing I like to do is actually change to dark mode. Up at the top right, you can easily switch between dark and light mode. Now, you can see I have several available consultants. Each consultant will have their own unique URL. It turns out that I have some radiographs I'd like to send to all of radiology services. Click on your desired specialist to start the process. We do offer a free DICOM service. If you'd like to configure your modalities to communicate directly to Keystone Community, click Learn More here, or go to the top right and select DICOM Service. Here you can create your DICOM service. Just make sure to select Windows or Mac. Now I'm going to download the service. We'll open up the installer, click Install. And within moments, you'll have a usable DICOM service for image uploads straight from your modality to Keystone Community. You can see now you have a unique IP address, AE title, and port number to add to your modality. I can also check the status of my DICOM service at the top right by clicking DICOM service. And I can see my service is online. And we've got our AE title, port number, and IP address here. Once you send a study from your modality to Keystone Community, you'll see it show up under the Image Uploads tab. You can see here that I've sent several studies from different modalities to my Keystone Community account. To send a study from the list, click Send and choose the desired radiology service. You can see my images have now been added, and I can add any additional images here in the Dropbox. I can also add any files or attachments here in the Drop Attachments. Once you've added any additional images or files, click Next. Patient information will come from the modality. Make any changes here that are needed. Enter in any pertinent medical history below. Here are all the images that have come from our modality. We can also add any additional email addresses here. Now click Send, and the images that you collected from your modality are off to the consultant. If you're not planning on using the DICOM service, the Start Consultation tab will bring you to this menu with all of your preferred consultants. Simply click the desired consultant. From here, we can simply drag and drop the images into the image section. I've already exported the images from my x-ray unit in DICOM format. I've also put them in a folder on my desktop. Simply drag and drop the folder into the image section. Now you can see Cookie's x-rays are uploading. And we have four images. I can click here and see that they've all been uploaded. 
in DICOM format. Now, if you don't have access to DICOM file formats, you can do JPEG files. I've actually got some JPEGs loaded on my desktop, so let's give this a try. Go ahead and drag and drop those JPEG images into the image access folder. You can see I'm immediately prompted with patient information that's going to be required. Modality is going to be DX for digital radiography, and the study date is already in, as well as the time. Anything that doesn't have a red asterisk, we don't need to enter in any information, although any additional information is always helpful for the consultant. Now you can see our images are uploading and processing. And there we go, we've got five JPEG images now loaded. A quick note on DICOM or JPEG images. Some radiology services will require that you submit DICOMs versus JPEGs. This is up to the individual consultant. Now below the image upload, you have add any supplementary files. These files can be added, and those include surgical reports, short video clips, or even procedure photographs. This section is meant to provide any supplemental documentation that will help the consultant with their interpretation. I'm going to go ahead and add Cookie Surgical Report here, and I'm just going to drag and drop a PDF file. Supplementary files are not required to make a submission. Once you've got your images and any additional files that you want to add, go ahead and click Next to start your submission. In this next section, we have Referred By, Patient, and the History. Referred By, we can adjust. If you'd like to set this up for a specific doctor, feel free to add contact and any of the doctors in your facility can be added. We've also got the patient information here. Make sure all of your information is correct. Add any changes like weight, birth date, gender, uh, or even patient ID here. Scrolling down, you can enter in the patient's history and any notes that you have for the specialist. I've copied an excerpt from Cookie's file and I'll just paste it in the history section. Below the history, you can see we have the thumbnail view of our images. If there's any images you'd like to not send to the consultant, simply click exclude and the images will not go with the consultation. Now, if you're happy with your consultation report, go ahead and hit send request. Now, our consultation report has been successfully sent to all of Radiology Group. Now, to check the status of the report, click on Today under the Teleconsultation tab. You can see now that a report is pending review from our desired radiology group. If you'd like to add an addendum, click on the report and scroll to the bottom and click New Addendum. You can add in any additional information to send to the specialist. Once the specialist responds to your request, you will receive an email, as you can see here. The response will have the history and the report from the consultant. We can also access the report from the teleconsultation tab in Keystone Community. You can see the status is complete. Now we can click on the report. We can see the response from the consultant. If you'd like, you can preview the report in PDF format. If you'd like to print the report, go to the Actions tab and select Print Report. You can select Show Watermark, Use Consultant Headers, or include any private fields if you'd like. Now I can easily print out my radiology report. Well, that's going to conclude this training session on Keystone Community. One thing I want to add. Our support team is available 24-7 to Keystone Community users, free of charge and free of advertisement. Thanks again for listening.